Welcome to the quiz review of Swordfish. Remember, the first five questions are recall, so we should be able to find them directly in the text. Question 1. Swordfish are found only in the Atlantic Ocean, in tropical or temperate oceans, in icy water. Remember, the answers to these questions are all found directly in the text. Found in tropical and temperate oceans around the world, the swordfish is large and powerful. Tropical oceans are marked in pink, they fall on the equator, and they are the warmest of all oceans. Temperate oceans marked in blue are mild temperature, not warm but not cold either. The coldest oceans are light blue, we call those polar oceans. So swordfish have a very large habitat. Stop the video and make your selection. If you chose that swordfish are found in tropical and temperate oceans, give yourself a plus one. Let's take a look at question two. Another name for a swordfish is the mackerel, herring, or broadbill. Let's see if the answer is found directly in the text. Looking at paragraph two, I'm going to highlight the sentence. Because the sword is flattened rather than rounded, as in marlins and other spear-nosed fishes, it has given rise to a second common name for the swordfish, the broadbill. Here's a great picture of a swordfish in its natural environment. Notice the long flattened nose. This is where the term broadbill comes from. Let's revisit question number two. Stop the video and select an answer. If you selected broadbill, give yourself a plus one. Question three. The eyes of a swordfish are black, blue, or silver. Let's check the text for an answer. In this paragraph, I'm going to highlight the sentence, only the eyes of the swordfish are colorful. They are cobalt blue with a narrow rim of pale blue. In case you were wondering, here's a swordfish eye up close. Stop the video and make your selection for question three. If you chose that the eyes of a swordfish are blue, give yourself a plus one. Let's direct our attention to question four. Swordfish generally live near islands, offshore, close to shore. Let's see if we can find the answer in the text. Swordfish generally live offshore, occasionally approaching close to the shore to feed. This sentence tells me that most of the time swordfish live far away from the shore, but sometimes come close to shore looking for food. Let's go back to question four and choose an answer. Stop the video now and make your selection. If you chose that swordfish generally live offshore, give yourself a plus one. Moving on to question five. The adult swordfish has sharp teeth, teeth of different sizes, no teeth at all. Let's check the text for an answer. I'm gonna highlight the sentence, the baby has sharp teeth. By the time the fish is from two to four feet long, the scales, plates, and teeth disappear. An adult swordfish has no teeth at all. Here's an up-close view of a swordfish mouth. Believe it or not, they don't have teeth. Let's go back to question five and choose an answer. Stop the video now and make your selection. If you chose that the adult swordfish has no teeth at all, give yourself a plus one. Let's move on to question six. Without its sword, the swordfish would find it hard to mate, feed, or swim. The answers to these questions are not found directly in the text, but the text will contain clues that help you make the right conclusion. So let's see if we can find the answers contained within the text. The swordfish uses its sword to slash through a school of Manhattan, herring, mackerel, or squid, killing or stunning its prey, which it then eats at its leisure. The sword is also used to fight enemies. To better visualize, a swordfish will swim into a school of fish and violently swing its sword back and forth, cutting or stunning many of the fish. Returning to question six, let's stop the video and make our selection. If you chose feed, give yourself a plus one. Question seven. It is likely that fishers enjoy catching swordfish because the fish are easy to catch, are very colorful, put up a good fight. In the first paragraph, I'm going to highlight a few lines. The swordfish is large and powerful. It can weigh between 150 and 1,000 pounds. 
Occasionally, specimens weighing more than 1,100 pounds have been reported. The color of both young and adult swordfish is gunmetal or bronze above and grayish or silvery below. The fins are dark and leathery. Only the eyes of the swordfish are colorful. And lastly, the swordfish is a prized food and big game fish. I highlighted some important pieces in the text. Use your inference skills to choose the best selection. Stop the video now and make your choice. If you chose put up a good fight, give yourself a plus one. Question eight. To catch swordfish, a fishing boat should usually stay offshore, close to shore, near islands. So we ask ourselves, where's the most likely place we're gonna find swordfish? Swordfish generally live offshore, occasionally approaching close to shore to feed. Let's say that generally means 90% of the time and occasionally means 10% of the time. Where would be the best place to catch swordfish? Revisit question eight, stop the video, and make your selection. If you chose, the fishing boat should usually stay offshore. Give yourself a plus one. Question nine, the name swordfish suggests that swordfish are only fish with spear-like noses. All fish have sword-like noses. The upper jaw of a swordfish is a striking feature. Let's hunt for clues in the text. The swordfish is named for its sword-like jaw extension. This bony, sharp-tipped extension of the upper jaw makes up about one-third of the fish's total length. Many times, animals are named after a prominent feature. The silverback gorilla, the ruby-throated hummingbird, and the red-tailed hawk are just a few examples. So you ask yourself, why did the people who named this fish choose swordfish? Stop the video and make your selection for question 9. If you chose that the upper jaw of the swordfish is a striking feature, give yourself a plus one. Question 10. Swordfish may descend to great depths in search of food, which suggests that food may be scarce. Swordfish are solitary hunters. Swordfish like deep water. In analyzing the text, we highlight the line, swordfish generally live offshore, occasionally approaching close to the shore to feed. Also, these fish are often seen resting or swimming near the surface with their dorsal and upper caudal fins protruding from the water, and they may descend to great depths, however, in search of food. It appears to me that swordfish spend a lot of time near the surface, but sometimes have to look for food in deep water. What can you infer from the text? Stop the video and answer question 10. If you chose food may be scarce, give yourself a plus one. That concludes our lesson on swordfish. Be sure to subscribe for more great lessons in reading, math, and science. You can also check out my next reading video here.